Howdy, welcome to uh, HVAC Essentials 101, where uh, I'm gonna be explaining the different system types that are available to purchase. Equipment technology has improved significantly uh, over the, gosh, the last you know, 15, 20 years. So there's tons of options to choose from. And so I'm gonna simplify as best I can to help you guys understand what the differences are, what the benefits are, what the features are, and what they do and how they do it. The way I like to explain high efficiency versus standard efficiency is high efficiency is do you wanna save money down the road? So it's gonna help you save more on utilities. That's gonna have a little bit more control as far as comfort is concerned inside the house. It's gonna be quieter operation. So those, that's the biggest high efficiency. Uh, and then there's standard efficiency, which is like, do you, wanna, do you wanna save money now? And so, because the higher efficiency stuff is a little bit more expensive, but there's tons of options. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, in, I'm gonna get right into it. So uh, the high efficiency systems, you'll probably hear phrases like variable capacity or modulating, variable speed. Those are terms that are thrown around a lot. And so for, for shorthand, I'm just gonna call it VC. And so variable capacity systems. Okay, so you like to set your thermostat at 72 degrees. And so you have this little, you know, here's your, here's your temperature swing. So, and, you know, it goes up and down, you know, so here's, here's your ideal comfort level. So a variable capacity system, you know, compared to what would be traditional, you know, you know single stage systems, a variable capacity system will do a better job staying within your set point throughout the entire the day. So we'll just say eight o'clock to eight o'clock through the night. So during the heat of the day, as it's running and operating, this system will stay within about, uh, typically around a, a degree to 0.5 degrees off of your ideal set point. This system will run longer. It will run throughout the day. It'll help whenever it's 80 degrees outside it's only gonna be operating at a very, very low capacity because these systems will run from about 30% capacity to 100% capacity depending on demand. And so if it's really, really hot outside, it'll jump up. It has the ability to jump up and get to that higher stage, higher capacity to be able to cool your house down like you want it to. But whenever it's during the shoulder season, so we're in Oklahoma, you know, gosh, we can have days that are, you know, it'll stay, it'll, you know, during, during the springtime and kind of late late summer, I mean, you're, we're sitting around 85. We've got a lot of humidity because it may have rained recently, and so it'll stay on that lower that lower capacity, uh, saving on utilities, running longer, helping remove more humidity from the house. It also be a lot a lot quieter as well. And so that's that's kind of your variable capacity system. And so we'll just say uh, for easy, if you're gonna save money down the road. Cool. So that's variable capacity systems. All right, on to two-stage equipment. So you've heard two-stage equipment. That's pretty familiar. Um, that's two-stage equipment has been around longer than your variable capacity systems. Now, fun fact, they operate in the same way. Typical uh, two-stage equipment will operate from 70% capacity to, it's a, I guess, technically, or 100% capacity because it has two stages. So what it'll do is it will run, uh, you know, during that, that lower stage, during the shoulder season at 70 percent uh and then whenever it's really really hot outside it'll it'll jump up to 100 percent capacity now fun fact two-stage equipment's kind of going away it's still they're still available um but manufacturers with high efficiency and the cost of variable variable capacity equipment getting more uh competitive it really doesn't make sense to do a two-stage system and so because the prices of two-stage equipment and kind of your 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 mid variable capacity systems are about the same and so a lot of manufacturers are kind of going away with two-stage um they may still have it but as far as function and and energy savings and uh effectiveness variable capacity makes a lot more sense so two-stage equipment not really going to talk about too much so stepping down to uh the tried and true american single stage system I called American for no reason really. Um, uh, but single stage equipment has been around in the United States for a really long time. And so we'll just say uh, S for single. Your ideal temperature is 72 degrees. You'll experience bigger temperature swings. And so, so we'll say this is on and this is off. So whenever your system kind of satisfies 72, it might overcool and uh, might get the house down to 70. It'll turn off. And then as it turns off, that temperature will just continue to rise and then it will turn back on. And so it will use 100% of its energy whenever it's on and 0% of its energy whenever it's off. 
And so, but as it turns on, it's, you know, it's, it's using 100% of the energy to cool down. So it doesn't matter how hot or cold it is outside. Um, it will be, it will be using all of its energy available to be able to cool the house down. And so what we find with single stage equipment, it's pretty simple. You know, it's been the standard equipment for a really, really long time. Uh, but as far as efficiency is concerned, uh, you're kind of capped out. The easiest way for you to save money is to turn the system off. Uh, and so whereas if it's on, you know, it's using everything it's got. So it's pulling all, all electricity to be able to run and operate. So single stage equipment, it's been around for a really long time. Um, we still sell plenty of single stage equipment. That's what's uh, typically uh, purchased. Um, and they make, there, there is higher efficiency single stage equipment, especially compared to the equipment that was installed, gosh, 10, 12, 15, 20 years ago. Um, and so they've made a lot of improvements uh, on the energy efficiency of even single stage equipment. So still, still a great option. So, all right, cool. Deal. All right, moving on. Summary, kind of what we talked about. So, you know, single stage, two stage, and variable capacity. Um, single stage equipment, it's either on or off. Two stage equipment, operate at 70% capacity, 100% capacity, or off. Variable capacity equipment, will ramp from 30% capacity to 100% capacity or completely off. So majority of the time it'll stay in that 30 to 100% uh, depending on uh, the ambient temperature outside. So um, uh, typical questions that I receive from a lot of customers like, well, you know, how much savings would I, could I see on a new system uh, compared to my old system? And that varies. So an average that we've seen over the years and, and just from data that this is national data, single stage equipment uh, versus standard systems that were installed in 2008, you'll see anywhere from about a 40% in savings and then going all the way up to we're seeing close to 60% on the top end. Now, a lot of this, we don't like talking about savings a ton because it depends on usage and usage is determined by the homeowner. So um, if your ideal temperature is 74 degrees uh, and someone else's ideal temperature is 70 degrees, uh, that's a big swing. You're, that person who puts it at 70 degrees is gonna be using the air conditioning a lot more frequently than, than the person who sets it at 74. And so it's really hard to talk about savings because people have different temperature preferences. But these are the general ideas of how much you'll save whenever you're buying a new air conditioning system. Fun fact on air conditioning systems, air conditioning systems is one of the only things that you can buy that will actually help, you know, it'll help save you money. And so um, it'll also help maintain the equity of your house as well. So if you've got a, if you've got a new system on, and you're, you're trying to sell your house, uh, between someone selling their house and they don't have, it's an older, you know, gosh, 15, 20 year old system. I know that if I was buying a new home, I would be looking at how old the air conditioner is. I've had customers in the past where I've given them system replacement options because they're buying this house and they actually opted for a different home because they didn't have to buy an air conditioner. And so uh, uh, it can help with resale value and stuff like that. And so as far as price point, you know, what makes sense, you know, if you're spending uh, money with, uh, with Yarbrough's, uh, you'll see anywhere from about, about 10, to 12 and then on your two stage gosh i mean you're probably looking 14 to 18 and then your variable capacity equipment there's tons of options we're seeing anywhere from about 16 to uh 25 on and that's 25k on the different system options if you're in a circumstance where you want and or need a new air conditioning system we have our prices are available um, uh, online. Uh, we, we write them in our blogs. Uh, also, too, if you just want to, if you want to call and get a price, we we'd be more than happy to provide one. And so, uh, we can get you an estimate for for a new system, and we'd love to help you out. So, uh, one more thing: if you're looking at a new HVAC system and you're doing research online, you might hear the term SEER rating. What does SEER rating stand for? Seasonal Energy Efficiency Rating. Uh, and they, the EPA, uh, who kind of dictates all this stuff, uh, the efficiencies, uh, they changed how they measure equipment efficiency. And so they changed the SEER rating to SEER 2. So SEER 2.0, which is more effective. Uh, and so it's more, uh, it's a more accurate way of measuring the equipment efficiency. Easiest way I know how to think about it is mile per gallon. So think of it like a car. Every system is going to get you from point A to point B. Point A is I'm hot and sweaty. I'm uncomfortable. Point B is I'm nice and comfortable. Every system is going to get you from point A to point B. It's just how efficient 
will get you, you know, how efficient, how much money are you gonna spend to get you to your ideal comfort level? The higher SEER rating that you choose, the less money that you're gonna spend to get to that comfort level. And so uh, it's gonna have a better MPG. It's gonna have a better mile per gallon on your comfort inside the house. And so that's the easiest way I know how to think about it. And so this has been a HVAC one-on-one with Colby Yarbrough with Yarbrough and Sons Heat and Air. If you guys have any questions or concerns, we'd love to, we'd love to chat. Have a fantastic day. Yarbrough and Sons.